In this video, we're going to take a look at the new ZBrush feature, making it possible to export Faber Mesh's fibers as curves to the LWO format directly, ready to be used as hair guides in Lightweight 3D. To demonstrate this, we will use the Faber Mesh Grooming Practice project. Let us edit the fibers using the amazing dedicated brushes available in ZBrush to apply some variation and combing to the dog's fur. In this case, I am using the Groom Hair Long brush. We can use the Export Curves option to export the fiber mesh as guides. By activating the Fast Preview button, it becomes possible to change the previous percentage so we can export exactly what we see in the preview. That is useful since in most cases exporting a smaller number of fibers is exactly what we need. Once we are happy with the number of fibers, we can click on the Export Curves button. A panel is going to make us aware of the real number of curves about to be exported. If we're not scared about that, we can click OK and proceed. We save the curves in LWO format so they can be loaded directly in Modeler. Before we can use the Faber Mesh fibers to generate a fiber effects render, we need to perform a couple of steps in Modeler. The curves must be converted to polychains to be used as guides in fiber effects. To make that happen, we can use the Strand Maker tool. A click on the Strand Maker button and a new layer containing the polychains is created. We now copy and paste these newly generated guides into a new object and save it. Let us send the object to layout where we can open the fiber effects panel and finally activate the fibers on the guides. Let's move the camera to better frame the object. Then we can open the Fiber Effects panel from the Windows menu. A double click on the object name will activate Fiber Effects on it. Since we want to see the fibers in the OpenGL preview, we need to activate the Draw option. As we can see from the preview, the fibers are not following the guides exactly. That is because of the gravity and random length attributes, but should be set to zero if we want the fibers to precisely follow the guides. Let's launch a render so we can see how the fibers look like. If we want more fibers, we can double the fiber quantity per guide. By switching the two images, we can see how in the second render the fibers look more dense. We can preview the fibers in VPR, activating the Volume option. If we now set the View mode to VPR, the Viewport Preview Renderer, it becomes possible to check the final render of the fibers in real time. We can also change the direction of the light or of any other attribute of the scene and see the final result updated in real time. With a new Lightweb 11 GoZ implementation, and now the new ZBrush Fiber Mesh Curves direct export in LWO format, artists really have an easy way to make these amazing tools work together.